Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 8th grade concept of unit rate, specifically how the unit rate can be shown as the slope on a graph, and we will do it in 5 minutes or less. So we have a basic problem situation here. Carla is buying 4 milkshakes for $10, but look at this connection we need to make down here. We need to connect all of these points on a graph so that the slope shows the unit rate. All right, so slope is something that we're learning here in eighth grade. Unit rate is something we spent a lot of time working on in seventh grade when we're dealing uh, with proportionality. It's a big part of that grade level standards. So first, let's just see if we can graph this a little bit, and then we'll see if we can make that connection. So let's just make a little XY table here and let's see if we can uh, label these here. So I'm going to make my X my milkshakes, number of milkshakes. And then I'm going to make my cost right there is my Y. So what they give us to begin with is four milkshakes for $10. And we're assuming that it's going to stay proportional no matter how many milkshakes we buy. And eventually we want to get a unit rate. Remember, this unit rate is how much does one cost? So we're trying to get that down to just one. But we can actually use just a little bit of proportional reasoning here. So if I were to cut that in half, I could get two milkshakes for half of that 10. That's going to give me five, right? And if I cut that in half again, I could get one milkshake, and that's what I'm looking for for my unit rate, and that'd be 2.5, right? And if I really wanted to, right, I could double this four. I can get that up to uh, eight, up to 20, but then I'm kind of basically falling off my graph here. So this right here is my unit rate, All right? So this is my unit rate. Let's graph this first. And then we'll see if we can connect that to the slope. Um, so we got, you know, points all over the place here. X is going to be my milkshake. Let's just put them up here, draw a line. And that is going to be my dollars. So 4 for 10, I've got 4 milkshakes for $10. That's going to be one point here. I've got 2 for 5. Pretty steep slope here. I've got my 1 for 2.5. I think that's my unit rate. And then I've got my 8s. And you see that 20. I could technically graph it, but my graph stops labeling it 9. Then obviously I missed a few x's, but that's fine because I'm just trying to get the slope. And it is going to go through the origin because 0 milkshakes is going to cost $0. All right, so I've graphed it. Now, how do I show that the slope is the unit rate? Well, remember, let's figure out what the slope is. The slope is the change in y over the change in x. Uh, one way we always remember that is rise over run. Rise is the y coordinates go up and down. The run is the x coordinates, they go side to side. So let's just take some of these points here. So I've got them graphed out here. So I'm just going to um, take this point right here and this point right here. So change in Y. So that's going to be 20 minus 10 over my change in X. Right. So I've got my 8 minus 4. So what I've got here is it's going to be end up being 10 over 4, right? So if I reduce that, uh, that is going to get down to 5 halves or 2 and a half, right? If you want to make that into a mixed number and look at that unit rate, 2.5. That's two and a half, and also obviously two and a half makes 2.5. So the slope equals the unit rate when you have a proportional relationship, and that's what this graph shows.